What date is it today? 18th of March. I need to mark it in my calendar. It is uh, the day where CNN used the word alleged. I have seen them cast moral judgment on many issues, both social and political. Never have they used the word alleged. But here we are. And uh, the story is about uh, Vladimir Putin being given an uh, arrest warrant by the International Criminal Court. So they say that uh, they have more than 16,000 cases of forced deport deportations of Ukrainian children. And they claim that the actual number is much higher. It's not just uh, Putin that has the warrant. It's also uh, another lady, also from Russia, Maria Lvova Belova. How do you scream uh, this lady's name when you're in their bedroom? It's like, Lvova, Lvova, Abliet. Huh? All jokes aside, though, uh, these are serious accusations. And obviously, no one expects that uh, Putin is going to be arrested over this because uh, the ICC does not have jurisdiction in Russia. So uh, it's not like they're going to arrest Putin, even if they did have jurisdiction. It's like... Now, what does it actually mean? Well, it actually does create a hilarious international problem. Because uh, let's say in the future, the United States and Russia would want to discuss a ceasefire over Ukraine. Now, if Putin actually goes to the US, the US is under ICC jurisdiction. And theoretically speaking, I don't think it would happen, but theoretically speaking, they could arrest him. So it does put a lot of security concerns over, I guess, like the Russian Secret Service. Because every time he goes into another country now, yes, like there is the possibility of the ICC coming in. But take into account that the country which would be hosting the meeting and allowing the Russian president to be arrested would potentially invite a lot of aggressions from Russia. Now, I don't know if that will happen, but again, the, it, it does complicate things a lot. Um, and this is mostly done as, I, I can't really call it a virtue signal, because it's actually something with concrete manifestations in observable reality. Uh, it is a statement. That's the best way to put it. It is a statement by the West that they do consider Vladimir Putin himself to be an enemy. And uh, they're not going to treat him very nicely in the future. Him as a person, not uh, just his country, because we already have sanctions on Russia. But like him as a person is going to have a difficult life when it comes to traveling in the West. Now... Will he go to prison? Um, there is a small possibility that if in the future he is not president anymore and there are negotiations between Russia and the West for the sanctions to be removed, then they could demand that, yeah, like we want Vladimir Putin. And there have been historical precedents. There, there has been many times in human history where this has happened. Usually a person that was in power isn't in power anymore. And the new people that are coming in, they would actually say, yeah, we're going to give you this guy. And, and this can happen if the new president wants to maintain positive relationships with the West. Again, it is unlikely, but it wouldn't be unthinkable. The other problem is that uh, Putin is at the age of 70. Many people are diagnosing him with cancer. Like doctors... Um, I believe it was like from the Lancet, uh, given uh, his body posture, his movements, uh, and, and many other things. Many people think that he may uh, have cancer, so it's unlikely he's going to even live that long. Um, and I guess uh, they can trial him in his absence, and they can have like this thing on history where he is going to be considered uh, not just a warmonger, but like a war criminal. So this is what the effects of this decision actually does. Because, yeah, like a lot of people were saying, like, what are they going to do? Are they going to go to Russia to arrest him? No, they're not. But in the future, it might actually have legal consequences. As for this lady, uh, Maria Lvova Belova, I mean, she's kind of fucked. Like, if she leaves Russia, 
she doesn't have the same power as Vladimir Putin. She doesn't um, have the same uh, security as him. So she's now going to be stuck in Russia for probably the rest of her life, unless something changes. So the court said that there are reasonable grounds to believe that Mr. Putin bears individual criminal responsibility for the alleged crimes for having committing them directly uh, alongside others. Now, I have looked through the history of the ICC. I couldn't find any other situation in which the head of a nation was convicted with something. Usually they convict, um, you know, like smaller criminals, uh, international criminals, but... um, Sometimes they may convict a politician, but very rarely, um, and I assume it's very rarely, if not never, have they convicted a leader of a state. Now, of course, the the Kremlin has labeled the ICC actions as outrageous and unacceptable. Uh, We consider the very posing of the question outrageous and unacceptable. Russia, like a number of states, does not recognize the jurisdiction of this court. According to any decision of this kind, they are null and void for the Russian Federation from uh, the point of view of law. And again, like, yeah, like on Russian territory, it is true. But the moment uh, any person that's wanted by this court steps outside of Russia, Ukrainian President uh, Zelensky thanked the ICC for its historic decision. Okay, so I was right. It never happened before. Saying that uh, in this uh, nightly address on Friday that Ukraine's investigations are uh, also suggest that the Kremlin had direct involvement in the forced deportation of children into Russia. Uh, This uh, also raises another question, like what if uh, the peace negotiations would happen on Ukrainian territory? Like they will never be able to happen there now because, well, Putin would get arrested. Uh, in the criminal proceedings being investigated by our law officers, um, more than 16,000 deportations of Ukrainian children by the occupier have already been recorded, but the real full number is much higher. The message from Friday warrants uh, must be that uh, basic principles of uh, humanity that bind everyone should be upheld. And this is what uh, Karim Khan said in an exclusive interview to CNN. Nobody should feel that they get a pass, uh, and apparently uh, this is why they made the decisions. Yeah, so uh, this is the lady, which uh, also is uh, under investigation. I mean, there is an arrest warrant for her, right? Like, they're not convicted yet. Uh, What happens is that there is an arrest warrant, and uh, if they are caught, they will be brought to trial. I assume that the trial will happen in their absence if they refuse to show up. Uh, This is the legislation in many countries. I do not know how the ICC operates. But, for example, in Romania, if uh, you commit a crime and then you run away from the country they will judge you by your absence. And uh, once the sentence is passed, the moment they catch you, they do not send you to trial, they send you directly to prison. Anyway, right, uh, let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.